Cortana. Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. How? Oh, I'm the strangest thing you've seen all day? But if we're here... It worked. You did it. Just like you always do. So how do we get out of here? I'm not coming with you this time. What? I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. That's not... We go together. It's already done. I am not leaving you here. John. <sighs> it was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Cortana, please. Wait. Welcome home, John. Tell me about the children. Dr. Halsey. You already know everything. You kidnapped them. Children's minds are more easily accepting of indoctrination. Their bodies more adaptable to augmentation. The result? was the ultimate soldier. And because of our success, when the Covenant invaded, we were ready. Dr. Halsey, you're bending history for your own favor, and you know it. You developed the Spartans to crush human rebellion, not to fight the Covenant. When one human world after another fell, when my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel in the end your choices were justified. My work saved the human race. Do you think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies. Difficulty with socialization and The records show efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? 
You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. His file reads, missing in action. Catherine. Spartans never die. Your mistake is seeing Spartans as military hardware. My Spartans are humanity's next step. Our destiny as a species. Do not underestimate them. But most of all, do not underestimate him. Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. Feels kinda odd for you to call me sir. Beautiful, isn't she? I don't get to see her often enough. I grew up in New Harmony. Attended Corbulo Military Academy. Never saw Earth in person until I was an adult, but I still think of her as home. You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. I mean, I've lost people I care about, but... Never anything like you're going through. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself. She said that to me once. About being a machine. In this hour of victory, we taste only defeat. I ask why. We are foreigners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms, and the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered.
I stand before you, accused of the sin of ensuring foreigner ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate where we are forced to recede. Humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness while they seize our triumphs for their own. The mantle of responsibility for all things belongs to forerunners alone. Think of my acts as you will. But do not doubt the reality. The reclamation has already begun. And we are hopeless to stop it. Well, I'm not gonna complain. Uh-huh. So tell me more about Rio. What else did I miss? Oh man, the place is a mess. I mean, too many Covenant Asylum Seekers, all pinned up. Yeah, DeMarco said it was crazy. Well, it could have been worse. I mean, look what happened to New Phoenix. We even caught this one St. Gilly freak. Try to detonate a Havoc nuke. Oh yeah, give it a rest. We all know you were on the other side of town when they caught that hinge head. Yeah? And where were you, DeMarco? Well, that's into me. We were just making sure the ladies of Rio de Janeiro felt safe and secure. That's right. Just Fire Team Majestic doing a little community outreach, That's man. That's right. <laughs> you had people in New Phoenix, didn't you? I did. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's all right. I'll get over it. Hey, Thor. Just take a look at this. There she is, man. Infinity. Us. Welcome aboard, Spartans. I'm Roland, ship's AI, at your service. On the line, Spartans. Someone will be along to show you around shortly. All right, Majestic, form up. Oh, take a look. Oh, my. Uh, I saw her first. <clears throat> Hi there. Well, hello, Spartan. Paul DeMarco. I lead Fire Team Majestic. Wow. A whole fire team, huh? <sighs> uh, I didn't catch your name? Sarah Palmer. Commander Sarah Palmer. I lead all the fire teams aboard Infinity. <laughs> fire Team Majestic, Commander on deck! <laughs> At ease, Spartans. Follow me. S deck is this way. <laughs> Shut it. Attention, all hands. Prep, slip space jump. This is the latest SIGINT on Covenant fleet locations, Captain. Pretty standard positioning, really. Commander Palmer. Things get boring in Spartan Town? Captain Lasky. You know I come up here for my peace and quiet. I'm not interrupting nap time, am I? On the contrary. Show starts at 0500. We've waited six months. We could spend another 48 hours running the teams through the war games. Navy disagrees with Spartans on this one. They want you ready. Now. Other Spartans, listen up. 
Your new workplace is a planet first discovered by humanity six months ago, called Requiem. Some of the old hands here know what you're in for. The rest of you, you're due an education. Upstairs want to set up research bases. But before they can do that, we need to fend off some Covenant squatters. The Coveys. They believe this is the home of one of their gods. The way I see it, if those freaks want to meet God, it's our duty to help them along. Face, Captain Lasky. Lieutenant Austin, the word is given. Drop some vessels on my mark. Mark. Some vessel dropping in. Transmitting targeting data to all. Government is deploying strong aircraft. Attention to fire. All Spartan fire teams are prepped and ready to launch. Some vessels. Still protected in the distance. Small craft deployed. Requiem corridor is clear. Repeat. Requiem corridor is clear. Majestic 1 on approach. Hang on! We're going inside! Here we go, Majestic! Where are we flying into? We're not for the display. Stop the turbulence! Good job, people. All on there. Supposed to have been cleared already. That was the idea. Yeah. These things just pop up wherever they want to, don't they? And how is that even fair, huh? Bats, look out! Followed orders. Be fine. Armor base waiting, team leader. Commander Palmer. What's that? Crimson team scored the first grab. Whatever it is, it's got the eggheads all tingling. <laughs> Reporting loss of power, sir. I'm trying to source it now. Get the engine room on the line. Aye, aye, sir. Dr. Glassman, Infinity's losing power. So I've noticed, Captain. Ah! Artificial gravity is offline as well. Sir, I'm being pulled towards the planet. I need answers. You take engines built by aliens a hundred thousand years ago and hire a war criminal to bolt them onto the ship. You can't expect predictable behavior! Roland, what is this damn thing? Unknown, Spartan. Attempts at physical persuasion haven't had much effect. Damn thing's stuck fast. She's all yours, Doc. Oh. 
Okay, look at this. This is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Dr. Glassman! Oh! Oh! Captain! Ah! Captain Lasky, the captain of Aladdin requests permission to bring the prisoner aboard. Last chance to change your mind. It's too late for that, Sarah. We need to know what's going on. She was locked up for a reason. Permission granted, Roland. I'm not walking around the ship I built with my hands cuffed. Show me the artifact. Another dock for a proper investigation. We have random fluctuations all over the ship, Doctor. Power's still completely out at ground zero. I'll get additional lighting set up ASAP. That would be good. Have there been any other reactions since... Since what happened to Dr. Glassman? No. I see. Careful. I'm not Henry Glassman, Captain. Trust me, Doctor. I know who you are. Yes. And I see you've decided I rate three of the new model. Captain Lasky asked for the best. And yet... What is it, Doctor? Engine room. Why do they have us guarding some old lady? She's bad news, man. Mad science and stuff. She created the original Spartans. Master Chief? No way. Yeah. Yeah, story goes, she kidnapped a bunch of kids. What? What would an old lady like her do with kids? First, we taught them how to be silent. Then we taught them how to be Spartans. Roland? Engine room's on lockdown, Captain. All systems operating nominally. You know, Captain, I can't fly Infinity without human aid. Don't worry, Roland. We'll take her off your hands again shortly. And now we're letting the war criminal touch things. Make a type for her? If that'd make you feel better? It would help. She installed these engines. No one in the UNSC understands them as well as she does. Hey! The artifact, Forerunner, is talking to your engines. Also Forerunner. But it is also communicating with these other systems as well. Some systems, some electrical, lower deck life support. Only the engines are forerunner tech. The rest is human. Indeed. But the artifact is reaching out to them. And it and your engines are transmitting... To Requiem. You came here to study the planet. Instead, something on the planet is studying you. That's all. Whatever, man. Have fun. Dr. Halsey? Spartan Thorn, I'll be your escort for the day. You knock, at least. Most people don't. Looks like we better get you to work.
Doctor, I understand you worked at the original Spartans. I'm afraid it's all still quite classified. But the original Spartans were conscripted as children. I did what was required. But why children? Why do you think? Well, it could have given them an edge. Starting that young. Not knowing anything else. There were many reasons behind the choices we had to make. Psychological and physiological. Psychological? So you don't think we're capable of being Spartans? Perhaps some of you are closer than others. If you'll excuse me, please. Roland, bring up REQ-153-N. I presume you'd like to start it before the tragedy. Please, Roland. Castle team just got hit running supplies into Copernicus. Copernicus? A science base. Looking for the librarian AI that Master Chief encountered? Instead, they found something else. Jewel and Dama. Yeah. Because Requiem wasn't messed up enough. Oh, Mr. Thorne. What interest is my research to you, specifically? I enlisted with the Spartans because... I was in the army a year before my family and friends were killed in New Phoenix. I always thought the Spartans were special. Maybe I could have saved them. And does it help you, help your grief, being here on Requiem? Shooting at, what do they call them, Prometheans? Doctor? Prometheus stole fire from the gods and gave it to humanity. I'm simply curious what gifts, if any, the Promethean life forms have to offer. They're forerunner robots. Hard light and battle armor, ruthless, brutal. What can they offer us? Nothing but trouble, Doctor. They're simply killing machines. Interesting. Dr. Halsey. Quiet, please. I'm working. Love, uh, I keep telling you people I don't speak Sengali. Progress. I've got to have better equipment. More materials. You're, you're giving me two sticks to rub together here, technologically speaking. Ah! Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no need for a translation there. You're saying there's an actual living forerunner inside of this thing. Huh. I wonder what she could tell us. Crimson has the situation on the ground covered, Majestic. Get that package off Galileo base and back to Infinity Pronto. So now we're Crimson's delivery service? How come we never get the interesting jobs? With me, Hoya. <laughs> Moving out. Oh, get the cover! Just had to open your big mouth again, Madsen. We're not dead yet, Grant. <laughs> dead? Regroup! On me! <laughs> Thorn! Madsen! Move it! Anti-air's down! Yes, Thorn, I noticed. Alright, Spartans, we're packing up this picnic. Everybody, get to the Pelican! Let's move! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! If we try to fly, we're dead. Hoya! Yeah? Take this. Prep for liftoff. I've got an idea. Uh, Thorn, get back here! That's in order! We've got this! Just go! Come on, Zoka! Get it! 
Taking a reading. Oh my. Doctor! A moment, please. Intriguing. Doc, this thing looks kind of familiar. Yes, it's very similar to an AI matrix. But we expected that. Doctor, hold it! Roland, freeze all monitors! Pictures? Civilian life. Maybe a colony or something. Not pictures. Memories. An alien AI full of human memories. That's New Phoenix. I grew up there. No. Well, that can't be right. You knew this, didn't you, Captain Lasky? The UNSC is aware that Prometheans are ancient humans. That is not ancient. That is the attack on Earth from six months ago. You knew. This is impossible. I, I have no idea how the hell these memories got from Earth to here. Thorn! What is it, Doctor? In fact, we have misunderstood the artifact's true purpose. And that is? I'm working on it. It's amusing to see you not have the answer to everything, for once. Enough has been kept from me. I've decided to start questioning all my prior assumptions. Doctor, this is as much a surprise to us as it is to you. I suspect that's a lie, Captain. The librarian? Doctor? What are you really doing? Who are you talking to? You're rude! You want rude? Bomber. Take Dr. Halsey into custody. Well, at least something works. Why did those people see you? What? Everything. But the UNSC acts like children at play in a sandbox. Mistaking its edges for the limits of the world. I bet they keep you in something a lot smaller than a sandbox from now on, Catherine. Why? I shared no information. The intelligence already knew my name, my task, and offered data that might advance our research by years. This is a research mission, after all. Even if you treat it like a live fire war game. Commander Palmer. Roland, not now. Actually, a bit of an emergency, Captain. Spartan Thorn has been detected alive on Requiem.
entirely sure what I've done. Can I ask you a question, Doc? What were you hoping to achieve with your little subterfuge? I mean, Captain Lasky put a lot of faith in you. Yes, his hospitality speaks wonders. Come on, Doc. What has keeping secrets ever really gained you? What is hidden can be useful. Such as? Such as the phrase, undid iridium. Un undid, did, undid, did, undid, undid. UNSC AI override instructions active, Dr. Catherine Halsey. Roland, tell the guards outside that Captain Lasky has requested my presence in his ready room. Then block all further communications. Yes. Captain has to see you, Doctor. Have a seat, Doctor. Thank you, gentlemen. You may go. Roland, give me full access to this terminal. Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. The Didax Ham. If people would just share things with me, I could solve all the world's problems. Send everything the UNSC has on the librarian to my data pad. Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. This is all my own research. I need new information. Anything that has been kept from me. Only one data point exists that is not your own research. Debriefing of Master Chief Petty Officer Spartan 117. Post New Phoenix incident. John? Roland, prep a pelican for immediate launch. 
and patch this terminal into the comm systems infiltrated by the artifact. Doc, whatever you did to me! Ah! Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. We have played your game quite long enough, and we are both out of time. In our previous conversation, you mentioned assistance. <laughs> Who but the Didax Hand could offer me a Promethean soul? <laughs> what we both want, Jewel. Librarian. A powerful name for me as well as you. Librarian was very fond of humans. Yeah. Did you know that? That was a dirty trick, Doc. My turn now. Stay right where you are, Doctor. Doctor Halls, I've underestimated you long enough. A crowd tube should hold you until. Oh. John's alive. He was here, on the ship. Nobody told me he was alive. Walking anyway. Isn't your armor all full of calm gear? Used to be. <laughs> I'm a, how much further? Galileo base is two, maybe three clicks that way. Another couple hours and we'll be home. <sighs> Dr. Glassman, get to safety! Huh? Uh, <laughs> Captain! The Promethean! Keep moving, Doctor! Roland. Dr. Halsey, too. Still alive? For now. Is there some concern? Maybe a little. Absolutely everywhere for you. <laughs> Lieutenant James, take us out of orbit. Move us far enough away from Requiem that those things can't get on board. The controls aren't responding, Captain. Infinity's locked in position. Captain, look here. The artifact is acting as a slip space anchor, holding us in place. Slip space isn't physical. It can't There's hold. There's still a great many things we don't know about slip space. You, quiet. You were supposed to fix this whole thing days ago. Sorry, Captain. Damn it! It was a smash and grab. They came here just for her. Some of these tags belong to Spartans. With my thanks. 
<laughs> oh. Nice. Watch this. <laughs> you guys are getting all the cool stuff. What's this? Oh, great. I got a map. <clears throat> Captain Lasky? Admiral Osman. You've seen the report on Dr. Halsey? I was advised to keep Catherine in the darkest, deepest hole I could find. Or have her removed from the equation entirely. Regrettably. I chose to do neither. So, Captain, today I shall follow my predecessor's advice. You are hereby ordered to eliminate Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey. I think it is power you seek. What is Knowledge is power. Glassman did this? I wouldn't be so sure. The protective shield is emanating from the structure itself. And if I'm right... Requires a more human touch. Welcome. You. You are librarian, wife of Didact. There is a Covenant cultist leader outside. He thinks you have something valuable. And he is correct. But what I have. It's not for him. It is for you. Catherine Halsey. She's only out here because of me. I mean, we're soldiers, not hitmen. Halsey knew what she was doing when she made friends with the bad guys. I'm serious. We shouldn't have to execute a civilian. No, but it has to be done. And I don't trust anyone else to do it right. There has to be another way. I, I mean... I know what you mean, Tom. And I won't see you court-martialed over that woman. Sarah, stand down! Orders are orders, Tom. This isn't my first rodeo. I don't suppose it is. Roland, where's Fireteam Majestic right now? Right there. Fire Team Majestic. Dr. Glassman. Glad to see everyone alive and well. Captain Lasky. Wasn't expecting to see you here, sir. Majestic. I have a personal favor to ask. Dr. Halsey has been abducted. This is the Janus Key. It offers the real-time location of every piece of Forerunner technology in the galaxy. Every piece? We did not create so much. 
without a means to catalog it all. This was meant for my husband to help your people. And his meditation was complete. Take this key to the absolute record. Use what you find to propel humankind. Why give this to me? Requiem's time is at an end. The key, and what it details, must not be lost. Captain Lasky sent us to rescue Dr. Halsey. Rescue her? She's a traitor! All due respect, Commander. If she was on Juel Dama's side, then why was she so sure I needed to get this before he could? that Majestic found shows two more artifacts down on Requiem, just like the one in our hangar. Now, they are the Requiem end of a slip space conduit which is physically connecting Infinity to Requiem. If we can deactivate them, Infinity should be free to move. Commander Palmer, we're sending down the necessary deactivation codes. Majestic and I will take care of the first artifact. Roland, we send Fireteam Crimson the second set of coordinates. You got it, Commander. Commander! Oh, hell. Battle stations! Captain! They're not attacking. They're entering slip space. This can't be good. We're, we're moving! Captain, it's not us that's moving. It's Requiem. The artifact conduits... They're pulling Infinity with it. Straight into the sun. If we have to find those artifacts before Infinity can leave... Then let's get moving, Spartans. Sarah, how's it going on Requiem? It's getting awful warm out here. Crimson got their floor. Is this tripping slightly more difficult? Anybody tell these goons their buddies left them behind? But just move up! Coming through! Fire in the hole! Get us 
the hell out of here. Aye, sir. Emergency jump complete, Captain. Injuries reported on multiple decks, but no major casualties. Captain Lasky to all crew. We made it! Good work, everyone! You sent them to stop me. I sent them to rescue Dr. Halsey. You see a difference? Doctor, what have you got? Well, the, the first test showed that it is inert. But, this part's really weird. <laughs> On a molecular level, it's incomplete. It just, it makes no sense. It's like... It's like we're only seeing half of it. That was before I knew my compatriots were a hit squad, not a rescue team. Not that I've fared much better in your care. No, Moe The UNSC just tried to execute me. So you'll need to offer something other than idle threats if you want me to help you. That's easy, Jewel. I want revenge. He may, but I do not. Note it. My friend's trust is not the issue today, Spartan Lock. It is my trust you must earn. Arbiter? You are a hunter, yes. A seeker of things. That's not the official job title, but it's close enough. And now you hunt other Spartans. I'm not so much hunting a Spartan as I'm hunting the spark. You seek. One, one, seven. I was not told the identity of your prey. That is why I'm sharing it with you now. You're talking about trust, after all. May I ask you something? Your people used to call him demon. Was that an insult or a compliment? An insult, to be sure. But one with a modicum of respect. He was indeed my enemy. But in time, I named him ally. Even friend. The events which forged this bond were complicated. Arbiter, we are nearing the target. Prepare for action. What do you call him, Spartan Lock? I don't understand the question. 117, the Master Chief. He is not your friend. Is he your foe? He's gone AWOL and the UNSC want him back. I'm going to bring him home. I admire his sense of duty, Spartan. But if he has left the fold, he has his reasons. I'm sure he does, Arbiter. And I intend to find out what they are. Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? She stayed behind. 
They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research. Watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Like the others, you were strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. Can you guess? Luck. Was I wrong? Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it.